The European Union and India have agreed to resume the stalled free trade negotiations and seek closer cooperation to combat climate change and the COVID-19 crisis at the virtual summit. In a major development, India and the EU have decided to resume negotiations for free trade agreement after a period of eight years of a stalemate. The two are also going to launch talks for a standalone investment protection pact. The EU Commission President hailed the meeting as a historic win for both sides. It was a remarkable summit because it widened the scope and the view on the untapped potential in the relationship of the European Union and India. Um, we have agreed that we will resume the negotiations on a free trade agreement. If you just keep in mind that free trade agreement negotiations started in 2007, have been stopped in 2013, and nothing happened in between, and now they are being resumed. It shows the importance of this summit. We will also launch negotiations on investment production, protection and of uh, negotiations on the important topic of geographical indications. These decisions were taken during a virtual summit between Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the heads of all 27 member states of the bloc. EU President Ursula von der Leyen also expressed her solidarity and support for India to counter a devastating second wave of infections. Addressing the member states, the European Union Commission President further said that it is important for members to be open for discussion. She added that the Union should have a closer look on the role of licensing and also should not lose sight of the main urgency, which is currently ramping up production of vaccines. I think it is very important we should, uh, be, we should be open to this discussion. We should also, for example, have a close look at the role of licensing. It is an important, these are important topics to discuss. But we should be aware of the fact that these are topics for the long term. It's not a topic for the short term or the medium term. And we should therefore not lose sight of the main urgencies now, which is ramping up indeed the vaccine production as quickly as possible and ensuring that they are fairly and evenly distributed during a question-answer session, the European Council President Charles Michel responds to Vion's question on the significance of the summit. Listen in. Excellencies, my question to you is, uh, we know that uh, uh, Indo-Pacific is something where EU is keen on. What kind of practical cooperation are you looking with India when it comes to Indo-Pacific? Also, when it comes to China, where does your bet lies? Is it with Beijing or is it with New Delhi? Mr. President. No, it's, it's certain that for, for the European Union, this region is very important. We would like to, to strengthen the ties with uh, this region. That's why this meeting with uh, the Prime Minister Modi was so important today. And there are different uh, important fields that we would like to, to tackle. We just mentioned the economic cooperation and trade investment, for example. Uh, but there are other important topics like security, like the, regi the regional concerns also. We have also the same multilateral approach because uh, we think that uh, we need to strengthen the international, the international cooperation. And certainly we face uh, very important global challenges, uh, the digital transition, uh, the climate transition, and it's possible to, to tackle those challenges only if we decide to work together and uh, we hope that it will be possible in the future to develop the ties with this important region for us. For more, Vion's diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, sends us more details in this next report. Take a look. The India-EU 27 countries virtual meeting is over and the key outcome was on jointly tackling the COVID crisis on vaccines and also resumption of talks on the FTA, the free trade agreement. We know uh, that when it comes to uh, the vaccines, it is the waiver on COVID vaccine patents that has been 
top of the mind of New Delhi. We know that last week only uh, the U.S. extended support when it comes to uh, a waiver on vaccine uh, intellectual property rights. And it looks that they, it has started a conversation, especially in European Union. And this was one of the key topics during uh, the meeting. But also, uh, it was an occasion for European Union to extend solidarity with India. Uh, European Union is all, already sending assistance to India as India battles uh, the COVID pandemic, especially uh, the second wave of the COVID pandemic that has wrecked havoc. But also, we know that uh, they recall warmly how India helped the European Union uh, last year, especially when Europe was battling uh, the similar kind of uh, COVID wave in uh, the bloc. But nonetheless, it was an occasion for uh, the bloc and for India uh, to uh, make sure that this uh, convergence and relationship continues. Both sides, of course, have been talking about how they share values, democracies, transparency. And this is something which is uh, much celebrated as well. Uh, this summit, of course, marks a milestone in terms of the redemption of FTA. And after the talks, whenever they conclude, uh, whenever the FTA is formally signed, it could be a major win-win for both European Union and India. So that's simple for Vion in New Delhi. Vion World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.